Today I'm here at the stand of Ridley Engineering with Ray Ridley and Ray you're gonna show us your product and tell us a little bit about it, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, what we have here on the bench is the lab setup for the four-day workshops that we teach and these workshops are unique in the industry. They're the only ones where we have working engineers come in and they do hands-on design in the afternoon. So they're actually building, if you look at this board here, you can see they're actually building magnetics. They get to wind these themselves. They get to build the uh, magnetics here. They get to design snubbers for the circuit and then they like, get to do control loop design. So is it true that engineers hate inductors and winding them? They hate them before they come to the course, but when they come to the course, they love it. So you're showing them that it's not as difficult as it actually sounds? There, there are difficulties involved, but they actually get to build one and put it in a circuit and see that when you've got a methodology for doing it, it's really quite, that, quite simple. Very good. So they come away from the workshop no longer afraid of magnetics and ready to start building their own. That's a good thing. Exactly. And then the second half of the course, we do control design which is the second thing that engineers tend to be afraid of. Mm -hmm, that's right. So we spend two days on that, and by the time they come away, they're comfortable with measuring loop gains, impedances, step loads, and optimizing the loops of their converters. So oh, that's a lot of content for four days. It's, it's sometimes too much content. Uh, for the advanced engineers, they can keep up. Some of the early engineers, they're exposed to it because they're going to need it in their work, and they don't get to go to courses that often. Right. So they can refer to the notes, they can call us, they can go to our website and fill in the gaps. Some engineers actually, they find there's a lot of content that they will come twice to the course. We've even had two engineers who come three times to the same course. So because oh, they, wow. as, as they learn a little bit more in industry, they're ready to move on to the advanced topics of proximity loss and some of the esoteric control techniques that we use. But now they're ready to absorb that information, so they come back and do, do the course again. And Since they're designing the magnetics, they'll try different techniques. They'll, they'll try things they've learned in industry. And, and see what they can come up with the design. This, this is actually a reproduction of the benches that we have when, when we do our workshops. So we try to give the attendees you know, state-of-the-art equipment. So we have a LaCroix HDO scope here, which will actually run all of our design software, frequency response analyzer, and of course measure the waveforms that you see on the screen. We have a frequency response analyzer here. One of these is actually measuring impedance of a transformer after they wound their transformers they need to characterize them properly before they put them in the circuit nice. and then the other one here is measuring the loop gain of the power supply that you see over on the left there and then we have another screen here is showing our design yeah, our design software which if they've never designed a power supply before they just put in the specs and it will tell them all the components they should use if they have designed power supplies before it will help guide them and then they can steer the program in the direction they want it to go by incorporating their experience so it sounds like you're really capturing every engineer at their knowledge level and take them along no matter where they are. Exactly. For, on the magnetics, for example, the, the, the new, newcomers to magnetics will just figure out how many turns they need and how to gap the core. The ones who are more advanced with 20, 30 years experience, they'll get deep into the proximity loss analysis and try to figure out how to put the layers of windings in there to minimize the overall loss. So there's something for everybody. That's very nice. So one of my viewers would like to attend one of your seminars. Where do they have to go to find it? They have to go to RidleyEngineering.com and there's a sign-up sheet. Our next uh, course is in June. We have them about five or six times a year in the U.S. and two or three times a year in Europe. Do you also schedule individual seminars if a company wants to hire you for an individual seminar just for them? We do. We, we did two of those last year. So we will travel with this entire workshop to a company. And uh, if they have more than 15 engineers, you know, it's, it's more cost effective for us to go right. there than it is for them to send them to Atlanta, which is where we hold the courses in the U.S. And then we tailor the course a little bit to that company, more to their needs. So that, that works out quite well.